tri-colored Mediterranean quinoa. First of all, I didn't know quinoa came in colors, okay? So I learned something new there. This recipe is actually inspired by a channel that is called the Salted Pepper. And I'm going to insert a link to her channel and the recipe uh, that she shared that inspired me today. I'm gonna put that below. This Mediterranean quinoa with vegetables is that I'm gonna need tomatoes, I have here spring onions, um, bell peppers, red. She said yellow too, but I didn't have that, so I just did the green and red. Um, I have some black olives back there. And she used, um, what is it? It was a Normandy blend. I didn't have a Normandy blend in my freezer. I only have the California, so I'm gonna make that work. And then the spices here, it was basil and parsley, oregano, sea salt, black pepper. I threw in a little bit of dried onion and uh, a vegetable bouillon cube over there. So these are the ingredients and those are the spices. And the first thing she said to do was to go ahead, turn on the foodie to a function here called sear saute. She said turn it on high and I've already put in my olive oil. So I'm gonna let that get nice and warm. And after that, I'm going to toast a cup and a half of tricolor quinoa. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that started and I'll be right back. I was a little late getting my garlic in. I just put it in there. It's starting to sizzle and pop just a little bit. Okay, so after giving the quinoa a nice stir to make sure that bouillon cube dissolved properly, I'm gonna go ahead and add in all of the vegetables. artichokes, the onions, the green peppers, all the good stuff. I'm also going to toss in all of the entire spice blend. So I'm gonna get all of that in there and I'm gonna give everything a really good mix. How incredibly gorgeous is that? All these colors, you know, I read somewhere that the Mediterranean diet is supposed to be really, really good at fighting Alzheimer's. I don't know how true that is, but I hope, I hope there's some truth to it. This is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful dish, and it's not even cooked yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put my lid on, lock that down. I'm gonna lock the valve. I'm gonna cook it on high. This is pressure on high. For one minute. I'm so excited. Toss in my stove top. I've got the acorn squash all stuffed. Oh my goodness. First of all, I can't even tell you guys how good this smells. Secondly, I was a little surprised to find out how sweet the taste of the acorn squash is. If you've never tried it, I think I think you may like it. If you like sweet potatoes or things along that line, you will probably enjoy the acorn squash quite a bit. So I've got them both stuffed. I just cut one in half, and so I've stuffed both halves. And I still have a good bit of dressing left over. So what I'm gonna do is let this cool, and then I'll go ahead and freeze it. 